Hey everyone, it's Steph from Chapman Vlogs. I'm about to remove my reveal nails. I've just got the French white and a glitter. I cannot remember for the life of me which one this one is. Um, but I'm about to change my colour. I'm going to go for one called Tahiti. This one here. It is a sun changing a sun colour changing uh, powder and this was one of my samples that I was sent through by revealnail.com so it's revealnail.com okay here is the company and down at the bottom here is their website okay so I'm just going to remove my nails I, I use a drill on myself but normally I'd use a file. You just have to remove the top coat off, the top layers, and then just soak them in acetone. I like to get a little bit of cotton wool and wrap my fingers in silver foil, um, aluminum foil, aluminium foil, wherever you come from, it's the tin foil, okay? And I like to soak them for probably around about 25 to 40 minutes, depending on how thick you actually get them on and how much you manage to sand off. I usually soak them, then I use the foil and I do this sort of motion. So the foil actually rubs off the reveal powder. Then I wash my hands. I file them lightly with a soft buffer and then I start my process again. So I'm just going to go through my steps, okay? I'm just going to go through my steps, I'm going to keep pausing and I will come back to you when I've finished different steps, okay? So as I said, I'm just going to take the top layers of my nail off, well not my nail but my nail powder I find it easier with a drill because the fact that it takes me so long to buff my nails down okay it just takes me so long to buff them. So that's why I use a nail drill on myself. You don't have to use a nail drill. You don't have to purchase a nail drill. I just find it easier for me to get through. my nails. Because I usually ask my daughter to help me put my foils on. She's having a nap at the moment so I'll probably do that bit in a little bit when she wakes up. I filed it right down, not too close to it, it's not, so you can't see it, you cannot see through it, okay, and now I'm going to wrap, I'm going to do the rest of them, and I'm going to wrap them, so I'll see you in a little bit.
Hey everyone, it's Steph from Chapman Vlogs. I have just finished doing all my wraps. My daughter wrapped me and I have now got bare nails. So I've scraped them, I've filed them, you know, buffed them with my soft buffer. I just now need to go wash my hands, get all the dust off them, and then, that's my cat by the way, and then start dipping them. So I shall be right back. Hey, it's Steph from Chapman Vlogs again. I've just done my fingernails, I've washed them. Um, one thing I will say before you put any other um, nail coverings on, always make sure your nails are dry, okay? Because you do not want any nail fungus or um, any bacteria be being caught under any nail covering. It isn't just the reveal um, nails, it's any nail covering, okay? Um, I'm just now going to get everything ready. I did say, I do believe what colour that I was actually going to do. It's called Tahiti. It is a sun changing one. So we do have my nail, the reveal nail. This is what it is. It's dip powder. No UV light is needed. Doesn't do any na damage to your natural nail. It gives you a lovely mirror shine. It's almost over odor free. There is a slight odor, but it's more like a um, it's like a glue odor. Um, but it is easy removal, as I said. Just tin foil and cotton wool and acetone. Um, and it, it does leave your nails healthier because there is vitamin E and calcium in the product. Okay. The website for Reveal Nail is down at the bottom here. Revealnail.com. Okay. And I'll put a little link in the bottom as well. Making sure I've got everything out because I need it. Um, we have that's stage three. We need that last. We have a few stages to this item, to this product. Okay. So when my nails are dry. I'm still waiting for them to dry 100%. We put the Pro Base on. This one here, it's the purple lid. We then dip, brush off the excess, brush, dip, brush off the excess. Do that three times, okay? So three times we do that brush off the excess and then we do the number two stage two it has the number on the back of the bottle stage two is the activator okay you then wait a little bit just about two minutes then you file make sure it's all nice and level then you use the activator again wait for two minutes and then we use number three number three is the beautiful mirror shine finish gel. Okay, so my fingernails are dry. I'm just going to open my pot. And it is as simple as this, it really is. Okay, I'm going to put you down a little bit so you can see what I'm about to do. Okay. Make sure there's not too much on here. Literally, is if you can put nail polish on your own nail, that's all you you need to do. See, just nail straight in. Okay.
pep off the excess. I like to blow it because the fact that if I brushed it, it just goes everywhere. <sighs> so I've blown it, most of the excess off. Let's see. Then I do another coat. If you get too much of the gel into the not the gel, the powder actually into your base, it makes the base go really, really thick and nasty, so you can't actually use it. Okay. That's why it's always a good idea to make sure you brush off the excess. You just dip it again, tap off the excess, I'm getting there, see, and this is the sun changing one, and now this is my third coat, Just missed a bit there. And I missed a bit on that side as well. There we go. There we go. And then you just dip again. This is my last dip. And I'm just going to remember, brush off the excess. And then we get the activator. Brush num uh, bottle number two. Okay. And we're going to activate it. This basically makes it hard. Okay. And then we start on the other rest of the hand. And it is really as simple as this. You just brush it on. And dip. Brush it on. And dip. And this is, remember, this is my second nail that I've just done, okay? I like to, as I said, I like to blow off a little bit. Oops, one more coat. There we go.
so you get the gist of what I'm trying what I'm actually doing here I'll just finish this one off with the activator so you can see and then I shall file the my thumb so you can see one finished on this hand and then I'll go do the rest of my nails and I'll come back and show you what it looks like so we have file okay just want to make sure it's all smoothed down All my files are pretty blunt from when I took off my nails, when I filed them all down. Don't forget your free edge, make sure you're nice and tidy the sides make them all look nice and tidy okay I'm going to put some more activator on. Okay, so I filed this one. It's all level, nice and tidy. Put some more activator on, and then you wait two minutes. Okay, after this coat, you wait two minutes. So in the meantime, I am going to start on my next mat nail. because I've got to wait for that thumb to go so I'm just gonna start on my next one it's such an easy system I have used a lot of systems in my in working with nails you know, as a nail technician for many many years and this has to be the easiest system I have ever used when I was learning I was actually taught the dip and tip method which is very similar to this but back then when I was there when I was in college this was not a big thing it was the cheats way of putting tips on is what my my tutor told me okay so this is the third one That was quick, wasn't it? See? It is that quick. It really is that quick. The longest part of doing these is actually either the removal 
all the filing. Okay, the actual putting them on is really easy. If you can put on nail varnish, you can do this. You really can do this if you can put nail varnish on because it is that simple. Oh, and you, if you can count to three, <laughs> which some days I don't know if I am or not able to, that is. Activate this. And I'm on my last nail now. So this is one hand almost done, okay? remember you always have to make sure you brush off that excess powder because you will make your liquids too thick that you cannot use them okay I'm using this is a, a facial exfoliating brush you can get them on, on the internet. Most beauty stores sell them as well. Okay. I've had mine a few years because I got mine when I was in in college for nail technician. For when I was doing my nail course. An old shaving band shaving brush would also work. As long as it's a so fairly softish brush that you can just brush the excess off. There we go. Right, that is that hand. I'm just going to move these one aside because I don't need these anymore. I'm about to finish this one off, okay? I'm going to put the finish gel on it. Oops. Yuck. That was my own silly fault. I dropped my bottle earlier, by the way, and it is non-drip. So you just do a light coat. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? On the first one, you do not have to do it perfect. And about 15 seconds later, you then put another coat on. It's about now, isn't it? And you do it more detailed. And make sure you go over the edge, the free edge, which is the end of your nail. And make sure all of your nail is covered. There we go. That is one nail completely done. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now... I'm going to wait for that one to dry, which takes around about two minutes, okay? And I'm whilst let's see, I find myself a little bit better files really, but.
just do the edges of these. It really doesn't take long to do. It really does not take long to do. I'm hoping from what I'm showing you, you can see how easy it is to do your own set of reveal dip powder nails. And how it doesn't damage your natural nail. Yes, there's a couple of stages to it, but gel has a lot, has, has a couple of stages too. This is a lot stronger than gel. You've got the strength of an acrylic without the harmful chemicals of the monomers. There we go. Not needed doing there. And again, because I've just filed, we just go over with the activator again, just to make sure it's all hardened. Okay, make sure you put plenty on that coat. Okay, and then we can go on to the next nail for filing. The reason you go on the, you do the filing on the top and that sort of thing, is to level it out, okay? Because sometimes it gets a little bit bumpy when you're doing it. Okay. Because I'm talking to you guys, going over what I'm doing. I'm really, I'm kind of taking my time a little bit more than what I would normally do as well. Activator again, because I've done that nail. There we go. Reveal come in hundreds, it seems like hundreds, I'm not sure exactly how many different colours it comes in, but it does come in a lot of colours. So there is at least a handful of colours that everyone will like. You have your colour cha your colour changing. This is the colour sun colour changing. 
Okay. This one's called Tahiti. Every, there's um, blues, there's greens. My cat's in here as well. There's glitters. There's plain colours. There's reds, purple, teal. And I know there's even a, a jewellery company um, colour blue, teal, green as well, by the way. That duck egg colour that everybody loves. There we go. See how easy this is though. See how easy this is. This one's now you'll notice on this one, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of gone over a little bit. That's not a problem. Watch this. Let's just file it down. I don't want that bit there. It's just a bit awkward to get to that position. And I've got to be careful that I don't actually file my finger too much because it's going to get sore. gonna snip that tiny little bit there's a bit that's right on my net on my cuticle there and I don't want it there so I'm just gonna snip it off It is so easy to do your nails with Reveal Nails with their dip powders. It really is so easy. Do this stuff. That's the activator done. And now I need to finish these three because they've been there long enough for me to finish them. By the time I get to the last one, which with the little finger, it should be good. Remember, you don't have to do such a great job with that first coat that you put down of the gel finish. It doesn't have to be a great finish on that first coat. Okay. So it's been about 15 seconds from the first one. And then you do it slowly on the second coat. There we 
Okay. Beautiful. As I said, a bit more slowly on the second coat. And now I can do this finger. And wait for about 15 seconds. I'm just got a little bit of varnish on the side there. Finish this one off. And remember, just go over the edges. There. And there we go. So, one hand complete. Okay. That is complete. And the, that one's dry completely, by the way. Okay. And that is the Tahiti changing, sun changing. Okay. All that needs to be done now, by the way, that one's dry as well now. And that one. I have. I won't touch the little finger just yet, because I've only just applied that one. It, it takes about two to three minutes for it to dry completely. Okay. So I've done that one. That hand, and that took me 20, 20, 25, 30 minutes from start to finish. Okay. So an hour. We're talking to do both hands and I am talking to you and pausing to show you okay so this is revealnail.com okay this is the color Tahiti the number is SC22 okay And I got these as a sample. So this is my sample and I thoroughly love this colour. Love this colour. So thank you very much Reveal Nails. Love you. Love the products. I shall go and do my other hand and then I'll come back and show you the, all both the finished products. See you later.